what impact has podcasting had on overcoming these challenges? Podcasting is my outlet. Podcasting give me my release. Podcasting give me the people to talk to. I consider podcast movie. By the way, for those that want to go to podcast, uh, podcast and podcast movement, go to their respective uh, website, podcastmovement.com, podca- uh, podfest.com. Go to their website, come to these conference, and you learn a lot, and you get to be inspired by what the most people can do. It's only the second day of the time of this recording. And I thank you, man, for what, taking the courage to speak with me today. What is up, Action Takers? Welcome back to the After Hours Entrepreneur. I'm really excited to share this interview here with you today that was completed at PodFest. Super fun, point and shoot style. I just posted up at the bottom of a very busy uh, place in the conference hall, and I just started interviewing some awesome people. And I think you're going to be thrilled to hear how these people are turning their passion into profit. Stay tuned, sit back, relax, make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. And let's get into this episode of the After Hours Entrepreneur. Run the tape. Deshaun Porter, welcome to the show. How are you? Thank you. So glad to be here on the show. And uh, I am so excited to be on another podcast. And uh, so I'm excited to wrap with you. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to have you here. You'd mentioned, we we're just kind of chatting, that you've been to quite a few podcast conferences. Why, yes, do you, I, why do you like going to podcast conferences? Well, I'm glad you asked. And I, I go because I love the networking and I support the speakers. I actually spoke at Podcast Movement. Now, I did the virtual one. I did a uh, talk on how to add comedy to your podcast because uh, I am a comedian, it, it, even though I don't do stand-up. But uh, I was told in Hollywood that I would make it as a comedian trying to sell my script, and I just went with it ever, ever since. Awesome. But uh, I go to these pod, uh, pod convent, podcast convention because it is so inspiring, like what just happened a, a few minutes prior to taping. Uh, There's I, so I, many I, great speakers here. Yeah, so many great speakers, so many aspiring. Just, there was a guy from Disney just did the perfect mic drop. He said, do not give up on your dream. Even you had to go through the worst of rejection, the worst of the pain. Even if you find a few people, even even he had this mother. I didn't have that. My mother was verbally abusive. And I was tired of bringing this up in the air. But my mother was verbally abusive. Okay. Why? I will never know. Even though I forgive her, but I always have to bring that up. And I am tired of bringing that up. But when, when he said, and the way he sounded so firing, I love crying. I really love crying because I don't have that many people to do. I, I, I live by myself, my wife passed in 2016. And what happened is, I'm all by myself. I am so disabled, both physically and emotionally, emotionally. I am just trying to enjoy my life. Too many people said to live reality, live in your apartment until you pa- you either pass away, you're going to die alone. You never amount to anything. I was told that. I was told that. And I'm telling you the truth. The God thought it's true. Well, I got to say, I love that, you know, despite the challenges that you've been overcoming, that you're here and you're connecting. Yes. And we're, we're, we're chatting here in front of thousands, tens of thousands of people, which I think is really powerful. Thank you know, you. Do, you, do you have a podcast, Deshaun? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, the name of the podcast is called The Big D Zone. And I have a crown on and Royal Regalia because it's part of my brand. I call it the nights, which is some, it, yourself. You have a new mansion in Big D country now. I call it the men night that I call the uh, the lady fans princess. And by the way, if there are fans that are listening in Missouri, I may be crying, but yes, I am running for Senate in Missouri. I am on the ballot as a Republican. I am not conservative, but I am a moderate because I'm struggling. But they have beliefs that the Democrats don't have. So whether you think I'm right as a Republican or not, God bless America, and I still take it a chance to run. Well, I, listen, I have a tremendous respect for taking action and doing what a lot of people are afraid to do. I am curious, Deshaun, what impact, you know, you mentioned all the myriad of challenges that you've 
had to overcome. Yeah. What, what impact has podcasting had on overcoming these challenges? You know, mental illness is real. I got this bad because my wife, uh, my late wife, her name is, Ther her name is Teresa Denell Porter. She died one year after we got married in 2016, August 28th. It was the worst year ever. And podcasting is my outlet. Podcasting give me my release. Podcasting give me the people to talk to. I'm all alone in my apartment for 24 seven when I'm not here or when I'm not in a cruising. I consider this place, I consider podcast movement. By the way, for those that want to go to podcast, uh, podcast and podcast movement, go to their respective uh, website, podcastmovement.com, podca uh, podfest.com. Go to their website, come to these conference, and you learn a lot, and you get to be inspired by one of the most speakers, and this is only the second day at the time of this recording. And I thank you, man, for what taking the courage to speak with me today. Oh, man. And I, have the art. I, to me, that's... That's why you need to be at conferences like PodFest, because that sense of community, bringing people together, sharing your unique voice, that's what it's about. Deshaun, where can we find more about what you're doing? Where can we find out more about Sean? Okay, well, I have trouble paying for a website, the, the hosting fee, but you could look up, anybody could look up the, T-H-E, and I'll spell it slowly, big, B-I-G, D, zone. D O N E, like AutoZone? Big D Zone. Yeah, Big D Zone. And look up, you can't visit because I have a brand with the Cranwell. Uh, now, my uh, one of my websites has my picture on it because I've been to review yesterday at one of the booths here. They told me they liked the picture with the crown, my costume that's part of my brand. They said, boom. But, Be memorable. Uh, yes. So, uh, you'll, you'll find my picture, a great picture of me. And uh, become a citizen of Big D country today and move it to your magic today. Encourage others, let's encourage each other. Dig it. Deshaun, before I let you go, a couple rapid fire questions here for you. Sure. Favorite Thank animal? Oh, well, I like both uh, cats and dogs, even though I'm allergic to cats, but I'm liking both. Okay. Okay. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? On a cruise ship, because you could go everywhere in the world see everything, meet amazing people, have fun. I, my real home is podcasting conventions and cruise ship in Las Vegas. Dig that, dig that. So if you're on your cruise ship and you could bunk with anybody, anybody in history, I'm going to widen it out here, who would you want to bunk with? Oh, well, oh, of course I want to be happily married, but if there was anybody in the world, I would meet up with one of my favorite wrestlers, and I know she might be married, but Sable. I have a lot of favorite female wrestlers, a lot of other favorite female, but Sable, I used to love Sable. I love Dawn Marie, but man, it's just something about her. Dig something it. about her that was hot. Deshaun, if you had 10 seconds with yourself 10 years ago, what would you tell yourself? I would say, now you may not get the best encouragement, but keep pushing. You know, keep going for a dream, even though it's painful, even though you might have suicidal thoughts at times, but keep going. You could do this. You could do this. You have the Lord. You have angels. You have people like podcasting community or even even your own fans. You can do this. Respect. Respect, Deshaun. I'm so glad Thank you're here. You. I can't wait to see you next year. Thank you. Podcast I can't wait to too, see you though. next year, too. Podfest and podcast movement for life, y'all. Let's go. Well, thanks for listening today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the After Hours Entrepreneur. So many great people out there taking action. And I love sharing their stories with people just like you. And listen, if you're into podcasting, if you're trying to grow your podcast into something that can actually generate real revenue and real profit, let me help you. Let me help you. That's what I'm here to do. I've been working on this for over five years now, and I want to help you turn your podcast into profit. Click the link below and join the Podcast Mastermind community. It is very affordable and it's designed to help you turn your podcast into 
money into cash money. That's what we're going to help you do. So listen, click the link below. Let's connect. Thanks for listening to the After Hours Entrepreneur today. And I'll catch you here next time. Go take action, all right? Peace.